I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 243, Group or Bend Dates Dynamically. I love Quantrix and this is why I love it because you can do very complex tasks very simply in Quantrix Modeler. I have here a matrix that has a list of dates and that date is starting on 1-1 of 2018 and running for you know a couple years and what I want to do is I want to take this date and I want to group it or I want to bin it based off of some start date and then I want to bin it every seven days. So in period two, on date 214 of 2018, I want to group these next seven items, these next seven days, as, say, period one. And then after that, I want to group the following seven days as period one, and so on, or as period two, and then period three, and so on and so forth. And I want it to be dynamic because maybe in this case I want it to start on 214, but maybe on a different day or for a different model I want it to start on a different date. And maybe I want my days to be dynamic. So maybe again in this model I want them to be grouped every seven days versus maybe every four days. So how do you do that in Quantrix Modeler? Well, I'm going to show you how I would do that. I would go ahead and add a column here and I would call it valid. And in valid, I simply want to say, is my date today, is it greater than or equal to the input start date over here? And if it is, go ahead and give me ones and zeros. So this is strictly just a Boolean operator here. And you can see that I have zeros where uh, the date is less than this, and I have ones where it's equal to, or greater than or equal to the date that's put in here. After that, what I'm going to do is I want to get a running total and I want to start counting, you know, just each day and kind of get a running total of what the count is. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to call this running total. And running total is equal to the sum of um, my date ID, which is my category item here. It's my date ID first. to my date ID last. And I want to specify actually that I want to sum valid. Okay, so I'm going to actually put a colon separator and I'm going to put valid here. And when I hit enter, I don't want it to be last, sorry. I want it to be this. And you can see that I increment here. And what I'm what this formula is doing is is it's just counting from the very beginning to the one I'm on. So once I, I get to here, I'd expect to be at one, then two, then three, then four, like I am showing. And then I want to identify every seven days, I guess is the best way to put it, or the, the X number of days that I put in here. So how do I do that? So I, again, I'm going to use what is called the mod function in Quantrix, and mod is just, uh, you know, it, it gives you the remainder. So in division, if you say you were to divide 3 into 5, you would say that, well, that in, I guess, third grade education here in the United States, you would say, well, 3 goes into 5 one time with a remainder of 2. Well, what mod does is it brings back that remainder value. And so if I were to divide these by every 7 days, the running total here, those days where there is no mod, where there is no remainder, is a day, uh, is, an, is a good indicator to me that, hey, this is uh, another period, if you will. So if I go here in mod and I say equals mod, what is my number? I want running total. And what is my divisor? It is days over here. You can see that, uh, you know, I get my remainders here because one, uh, one divided by seven goes zero times with a remainder of seven, right? 
and also with five. Uh, one or five divided by seven is zero with a remainder of five, but seven divided by seven is zero. Uh, well, it's actually one, but there's no remainder, so it flags it as a as a zero here and the same deal here I get 14 divided by 7 well that goes two times with no remainder so there's no mod so again it's just a good indicator of you know when I've when I've reached a a factor of the number of days here so and then what I'm going to do in order to get my groups is I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say I'm just going to call this period and I'm going to say period is equal to sum well what do I want to sum well I want to go out and I want to select in my mod date ID first because I want to go top to bottom here in my list date ID first to mod date ID this I want to look up I want to sum this of course but I also want to look up my key list or is going to also be this mod and what I want to do is I want to bring back any of those that are one I believe so if I go ahead and hit that then you'll see that these dates here are all part of group one and these are the first seven days right the next seven again all of these all the way down to this mod of zero is my second group of days and so on and so forth this is my third group now if I were to change this to say be two days and let's say I went out here and I made this as of 1 12 2018 I wanted to start grouping things you can see that uh, 1 12 yep that day and the next day which is 113 are part of group 1 uh, 114 and 115 uh, that is part of group 2 and so on and so forth with group 3 all the way through the end of time so that is how I would dynamically group or bend days uh, in Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions, I hope that you will reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.